All right, we're doing a quick pit walk here, and with us at the moment is uh, defending world champion Leighton Manel. Mate, uh, you went out qualifying too. It looked a little bit ticklish. I thought you were taking it a bit easy, but you posted a reasonable time. What have you got coming for the rest of the afternoon? Oh, we're just uh, just slowly putting the pedal down, mate. Um, end of the day, it's a long day for the 500s here, and uh, it's a big track. You, you're flat out, so I sort of thought, well, hey, we'll do a couple of easy ones in the running, let everyone get away and, and, and do what we used to do and just peg our way back slowly. Mate, you're, uh, you're one of the masters of the game. Just let everybody think they're having a good day, and then you come in and uh, sort of try to wipe the floor with them at the, uh, at the end of the day. Didn't go so well for you at Bay Park. You fell out of the track. Yeah, mate, it was a bit rough, a bit rough. I think that uh, from 12 to 3, I sort of, uh, we all lost the plot and just went hard. So, uh, but today we're back to the same old rules. So, yeah, we'll just slowly wean them in and uh, see if we can come in. Uh, Pete's going really well, and uh, but good to see Chris Munro's really charging up there too. So, no, I, I think uh, you're about to see the card game start. So, uh, yeah, one more qualifying. We don't need to go too silly there, and then we'll, uh, we'll start playing the game. How we play it? No worries at all. Good on you. Thank you very much, Leighton Manel. We're just going to duck over here and have a chat to the man who could suffer the ultimate embarrassment by running into a wall with an erection and breaking his nose, the Australian Paul Gaston. Now, uh, for Glass Pro, mate, nice way to introduce you, don't you think? Oh, you're not wrong, and it's really good to see you, so <laughs> far away. <laughs> Righto, mate, uh, qualifying too, you had a bit of an issue? Yeah, we blew the uh, radiator hose off it again, which we had a problem last week with it, um, or the last round. Um, so we got that sorted out now and opened it up, so hopefully we won't see that again today. Yeah, no worries, mate. A little bit of a concern. I bet the uh, old heart was beating because at the moment you've uh, got third in the first two rounds. You're third in New Zealand. You hate the number three. Yeah, well, I was pretty appreciative of it last time, but I don't really want another. If I've got to take it, I'll take it, but we're going for one more. <laughs> no worries. Good luck, Gaston. I want to have a chat to your mechanic, Brian. We'll just get in uh, under here. We can grab Brian. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this bloke with a garden tool in his hand actually looks something like a mountain gorilla trying to perform brain surgery with a toothpick. <laughs> but if you actually put a spanner in his hand, he does a great job. Mate, uh, you're doing a lot of work for this boat. Now, you set up a lot of engines. What's the difference between setting up a jet sprint engine to, um, in, in comparison to what you do with a sprint car or the other form of motorsports that you send up? Yeah, you're just trying to get the most torque out of these motors and not worrying so much about horsepower. Apart from Miri Miri here, we do need a little bit more horsepower being such a longer track. So how do you set that up for torque? No, oh, just by the cam and how the head's supported. Yeah, that's the main thing, really. Yep. No worries, mate. Well, we will let you get back to swing and spanners and stay away from that brain surgery with toothpicks. We'll go and find some more people in a minute. Just bear with us.